Magandang magandang hapon mga katribo. Ito na naman isang episode na talagang magandang episode ngayong hapon na ito dahil part 2 po with Dr. Joel Lopez. Siya po ay uh, may ari ng charm at uh, siya po rin ay isang eksperto sa lifestyle medicine, integrative medicine, at siyempre anti-aging medicine. Please welcome Dr. Joel Lopez for Look Good, Feel Good. Hi, Doc. Thank you, Ms. Tori. Good morning sa lahat. How are you today? I'm good, Doc. Di ba ang, ang bait-bait ni Dr. Joel? When you talk to him na kalmado ka na. And I think isa sa mga sekreto yan ng anti-aging. Di ba, Doc? Yeah, it's important to have a good mindset. Yeah. Because yeah, that will help with modulating our neurotransmitters, mga brain chemicals. Oh, because sometimes, di ba, Doc, when you get so excited about something, mm -hmm. uh, you rush ng adrenaline sa katawan mo, di ba? Yeah. Masyadong mataas. Yeah. And mm -hmm. we have to, under, in short, mga katribo, understand and know our body and listen to our body. Di ba, Doc? Yeah. Maganda ang sinabi niyo, Doc, neurotransmitters. Para sa kaalaman ng ating mga katribo, what exactly are neurotransmitters and how do they help us regulate our health? Yeah, ang mga neurotransmitters ay mga brain chemicals basically. So, uh, merong mga inhibitory neurotransmitters, may mga excitatory neurotransmitters. So, kailangan balance siya. Otherwise, it could lead to problems. Like, kunyari, ang excitatory neurotransmitters ay masyadong mataas. It could lead to anxiety. So, everything nagsispeed up. So, kailangan ng inhibitory neurotransmitters Parang sa kotse, siya yung uh, brake. Yung accelerator naman yung ano, uh, mga excitatory neurotransmitters. Paano natin malalaman, Dok, kung kailangan natin ng brake, mag-brake? Yeah. Kunyari, ang tao ay nasa ano, fight or flight mode all the time. Yung parang laging uh, may emergency. Um, yun, that tells us na may imbalance. Uh, kailangan din ng rest or regeneration. So, kailangan balance yung fight or flight at saka yung rest and regeneration. Otherwise, magkakaroon ng uh, symptoms. Napakahalaga yung fight or flight that you mentioned because we are not aware of that fight or flight in our everyday life, correct? The yeah. minute you step yeah. out of the house, how are we supposed to know if we are on fight or flight mode. Yeah, minsan ang mga symptoms include like rapid heart rate, shallow breathing. Uh, yan yung kasi yung mga neurotransmitters like uh, uh, or brain chem or chemicals like uh, epinephrine or norepinephrine or catecholamines. Yun ang nagkakos ng mga symptoms na to. So okay lang yun pag may emergency. Pero pag wala na yung emergency dapat nagbabalansin na ulit, nagtatake over na yung mga inhibitory neurotransmitters. Pero may mga tao na, ayun, palaging fight or flight. So, uh, yun, nagkakaroon sila ng uh, symptoms, persistent symptoms, like mer meron silang anxiety palagi. Ganun, hindi na, hindi, parang hindi na nagre-rest yung katawan nila. Ayan. So, how are you supposed to advise our katribo to be more aware. Siyempre, kailangan ng self-awareness yun. Yeah, Minsan, kailangan. Minsan, mga tao, di na, nila alam kung anong nangyayari sa loob. Do you have to talk to yourself? Is there a technique? Yeah, um, pag may nararamdaman kayong ano, uh, mga symptoms na ganun, siguro ang uh, one of the best things to do is like yung deep breathing. Uh, deep breathing kasi naaano yung vagus nerve mo dun eh parang na-activate yung vagus nerve. Yung vagus nerve ay importante para sa parasympathetic nervous system. Siya yung talagang for rest and relaxation. Compared to the sympathetic nervous system, yun naman yung responsible sa uh, mga uh, fight or flight uh, symptoms. Yung everything's uh, fast pag ganun. Kung baga ay yung vagus nerve ay para siyang pulis, I know that vagus nerve connects from the brain all the way yeah. down to your stomach. 
di ba? Yes. May connection mm. sa chan yun. Yes. Kaya pala, mga katribo, kapag sobrang excited tayo or nervyoso tayo, we feel butterflies in our stomach. Oh, di ba, Dok? Mm. Oo, tama. Meron bang paro-paro sa chan namin? Wala naman. So, what is that feeling? So, mga katribo, we're just trying to go through the the journey of our emotions or uh, the connection of our brain to our body. So, so what happens then? Can you can you guide us? Let's say you step out of the house, mm-hmm. then you suddenly are feeling so anxious about your meeting, let's say, meeting. Uh, mm-hmm. What tips can you give our mga katri? Um, yeah, uh, so isa, isa doon is yung breathing. So, because that stimulates your vagus nerve to help you relax. And then otherwise, people could meditate. Uh, meron silent meditation in which people just sit down. And and I advise you to uh, not just to empty your mind, but kung pwede to concentrate on certain verses in the Bible. Like there's one called "Be still and know that I am God." Sa Psalm, yun, sa Psalm. So, pag ano, pag if you pray for or something, then just um, trust that God will, uh, parang do it for you. So that's one way to deal with uh, anxiety is to pray or have faith. Other things like massage, siguro, is one way to deal with stress. So getting massages on a regular basis. Then there are certain things to what that we call adaptogens. Ito yung mga herbal uh, supplements tulad ng ginseng, rhodiola, or ashwagandha. Take them pag may mga ano, uh, stress. Pag may stress kayo. So it helps uh, your body deal better with stress. Ayan mga katribod. Kasi you cannot look good if you don't feel good. May yeah, connection tayo, no? So mm. we are talking about the inside moon and we're addressing that issue so that we can glow, as they say. <laughs> like Dr. Yeah. Joel, he's glowing, di ba? So we want to glow also. Doc, maganda na binanggit nyo yung rhodiola, ginseng, ashwagandha. And uh, how do you take these herbs? Just supplements, right? Yeah, there's supplements and may certain dosage po ito para maging effective sa katawan. Uh, yeah. Kunyari ang rhodiola, ideally 100 milligrams a day of this rhodiola. Then ashwagandha, usually 4 to 500 milligrams a day of the ashwagandha. And by the way, meron, pa, meron pang isa, it's called cordyceps mushrooms. Oh, oh. Uh, it's, it's a good adaptogen as well. So you think so you that cordyceps makakatulong din sa isang immune system na na uh, over react? Yeah, makakatulong din ang cordyceps. Madaming benefits ang certain mushrooms. Mm. Yung mga adaptogens yan ay ibig sabihin kapag nakapasok sa katawan natin, these things, the nutrients inside this or the elements inside the cordyceps, odiola, ashwagandha, ginseng. Anong ginagawa nila? Nire-regulate tayo sa loob? Sasabihin nila, yeah. oh, busy lang tayo, relax everybody. Ganun ba yun? <laughs> so tinutulungan niya yung adrenals. Ito yung glands kasi nang nagpo-produce ng mga ano, certain brain, oh, certain chemicals like yung catecholamines. Pag under stress yun, they produce that. They also produce cortisol, yung stress hormone. So what the adaptogens do is that it helps uh, the adrenals work better. Ayun. Kaya alam mo mga katribo, kapag pag sa tingin natin na pagod na pagod tayo or at the end of the day, sometimes you ask yourself, why am I so tired? Right? Then I'm thinking... Oh, my adrenals must be trying to tell me, be still. Tama ba yun, Doc? Tama yun, Ms. So you have to take an adaptogen to help you. We need helpers. 
Before yeah. that, Doc, you take all three? Um, I usually take um, a combination because they have synergistic properties, but you could also take each one individually. So how would you pair the ashwagandha? As, uh, may mga supplement na galing sa mga certain nutritional companies na they combine, let's say, B-complex with an adaptogen like rhodiola or ashwagandha. Mm -hmm. Or sometimes both. Pero in smaller doses kasi uh, when it's synergistic, parang 1 plus 1 equals 3. So parang they, um, they strengthen each other. Parang nagmumultiply yung results nila sa katawan. Ayun, ayun, ayun. Okay, so Doc, tips for our Katribo to look good and feel good, Doc. Uh, basic tips, pwede. You're addressing <laughs> our viewers now. Yeah, so um, we could start basically with our diet. There's something called a rainbow diet. Uh, one of the doctors, I think his name is Dr. Norman Cousins in the States. Yeah. So, mag-idea sa plato natin, iba-ibang kulay. So, nandiyan yung green, so yung orange, yung yellow. To be able to, because uh, all these different colors of vegetables, they provide different nutrients for the body. Mm -hmm. Pero kung ang pagkain natin ay palaging kulay brown, at walang mga fresh, no gulay, nothing like that, we yeah. won't be able to get enough of the nutrients to run all the metabolic processes in the body. So, so yun, ideal. <laughs> dapat makulay ang pagkain natin. Tip number one, mga katribo. Our plate should be multicolored. Tama ba? Yeah. Hindi Tama. ibig sabihin, meron kang adobo at kanin at yun lang ang kakainin. Kailangan may kulay. Kung anong may kulay, ay gulay o prutas. Tama ba do? Yeah, tama po. <laughs> Do you agree that we should eat the fruit and the vegetables, the raw, before we eat the cooked food? Yeah, um, may mga iba-ibang kasing ano, uh, theories. Like there's one called food combining. So the food combining, they won't uh, allow the intake of, of certain, um, what do you call this, macro, um, macro, sorry, I can't, <laughs> can't recall the term, but certain foods you can't eat together. Like you can eat protein and starch together. Oh, so, you can. Yun ang tinatawag. Oh. Yeah, sa, ano, sa food combining yan. Pero actually, among Asians, we combine starch and protein eh, kasi we eat rice and protein. Pero do, there's a certain group of um, food uh, enthusiasts who recommend food combining. Kasi daw, pag kinombine mo yung protein and starches, it could lead to um, uh, something could rot in the in the tummy so better to uh, separate those kinds of foods but um majority of people they don't do this and they still are okay so oh, nga, i don't understand it doc sometimes i see people mga oh. oh, yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> aalis babalik po kami This break is brought to you by Hangkas, Beat the Traffic, Buy It Center, Hashtag Bigger Better Younger Buy It, and you can buy it all. Conti's Bake Shop and Restaurant, delightfully yours. Globe, Atin Hang Mundo, Meralco, Aliwanag ng Bukas, SM, we've got it all for you. Smart, live more today. Union Bank, it starts with you. And Data Consultancy Services. Straight Talk dives deep into pressing issues of leadership, politics, business, and more. Engage in insightful conversations with industry shakers, government leaders, and trailblazers every Wednesday at 10 a.m. only here on Daily Tribune's Facebook page and Tribune Now in YouTube. Parayan at talakay ang showbiz! Times 2! Doble doble! Kasama ang dalawa sa walang kupas na talakayan ng showbiz, Alwin Ignacio at Alex Brosas. DDT Show, tuwing Sabado at Linggo, alas 4 ng hapon. Dito lang sa Jario Tirada ng Daily Tribune. A wellness show dedicated to the
empowering viewers with knowledge and inspiration needed to lead a healthy lifestyle. Be Well Now, hosted by Ms. Cory Crino, every Wednesday at 2 p.m., only here at the Tribune's Facebook page and Tribune Now in YouTube. Welcome back mga katribo sa ating Be Well Now. Hindi kahapon, hindi bukas, kundi ngayon din. Kasama po natin si Dr. Joel Lopez. Ang ganda ng sinabi ni Doc, yung mga tips to look good and feel good. Number one, dapat makulay ang ating mga pagkain. Number two, be wary or at least uh, aware of your food uh, combinations. Kahit na may mga ibang tao maselan, di ba? Mm -hmm. Iba hindi. Sorry. There are some people, mm -hmm. they can eat a full meal, cooked meal, pagkatapos magkakain sila ng watermelon. Sometimes I ask them, how do you feel after combining the watermelon after a full meal, heavy mm -hmm. meal? They feel okay. Yeah. But some people, hindi nila kakayanin yun. So what they do is, like me, inuunahan ko muna ang aking hilaw na pagkain, raw, anything raw, salad and fruit, before I eat a cooked meal. And for me, it works better that way. Yeah, so dapat, yan, kasi, we should know our bodies, no, Doc? Hmm, tama yan. Kasi uh, pag nagluluto din tayo, ang unang nasisira ay yung mga enzymes. So are you yeah, saying, so, then, Doc, we should also learn how to eat a little bit of raw food? And I don't mean okay. raw chicken, raw beef, ha, or raw pork. I'm saying, <laughs> hilaw na pagkain na natural, tulad ng gulay at prutas. Tama ba? Yeah. Tama po yun. Mm -hmm. Sometimes yeah. it's hard to find a, a good, clean, fresh salad. It's hard, mm -hmm. eh, Doc? Yeah, it is. Especially, oh, so, I think I mentioned something so, before. Walang salad. Yeah. Let's say, pupunta ka sa isang fiesta. Lalo-lalo mm. na sa isang fiesta, di ba? Walang mm. fresh salad. So, Doc, mm. anong alternatibo dyan? Kumain muna ng prutas? Pagkatapos, damihan na lang ang pagkain ng ibang gulay kahit luto. Tama ba? Um... Kung hindi kayang kumain ng something raw bago, bago yung main main course ng meal, people could take uh, certain tablets of uh, papain or papaya enzymes. At uh, very common to, so I think pati mga pharmacy, they carry papaya enzymes or papain. Nasa, they're in the form of tableta, of tablets. Yun, papain is very common uh, digestive enzyme. So that's good to take that natural digestive enzymes. Yeah. Apo. Para sa lahat ng tao, kahit anong edad to? Yeah, pero usually ang mga kabataan medyo resilient pa yung katawan nila. Ah. Pero as we age, especially in the, at the age of 30, there's less production of digestive enzymes. So that the most popular class of medications during that Age, for that age group are the antacids. Antacids kasi nagkakaroon na silang problema with ano, <laughs> digestion. Di ba lalong nakakasira sa chan yan? Madaming side effect long term yung mga antacids kasi. Yeah. So cause it could cause depletion of certain nutrients. Correct. So but oh. Oh, yung mga apple cider vinegar, yan, maganda yan. It helps with digestion. Oh. And Available na siya in gummies. Kasi dati yung liquid lang, ayaw na iba ng lasa nun. Nung apple tama, cider tama. vinegar. <laughs> apple cider, it's not for everybody. Ah. Matapang ang lasa oh. ng apple cider vinegar. But I've hmm. been hearing about the benefits of apple cider vinegar mixed with the little honey. Pwede ba yun, Doc? Pwede din naman. For those who cannot tolerate the taste. Yeah. <laughs> Sabi daw maganda yan para sa lalamunan. Oh, madami siyang benefits actually because it alkalizes the body. Kasi Ay, most of us are acidic kasi. Doc, paano yung lemon water pwede sa umaga? 
Yeah, pwede yan. Kasi um, this lemon has alkaline forming minerals. So madami siyang minerals like magnesium or potassium. So nababalanse yung pH natin. Good. So we should have that. If you cannot take papaya enzymes, can you take papaya? Pwede din. Pwede din papaya. <laughs> oh, kung, meron, kung, meron, kung available siya. So doc, you're saying, sana meron tayong uh, papaya and uh, tablets. Tab capsule mm -hmm. yun, no? Or tablet. Tablet, no? Tablets. Just usually. before you have a meal or during the meal or after? Yeah, actually, yung uh, plant enzymes, they are stable in an, in an acidic pH. So actually, pwede before or, or during a meal. During. And then, Doc, during. Uh, do mm. you do that every meal time or only once a day? Uh, every meal time kung walang raw food na kasama sa meal natin. Mm, kung walang raw food, tama. Eh, kung may raw food, yeah. can you still take the enzymes? Pwede din naman. Pwede din naman. Ayun. So, mga katribo, sinabi na ni Doc, at the age of 30, nagdi-decline na ang ating digestive enzymes. So, ibig sabihin, kailangan natin ng tulong sa pamamagitan ng pagkain ng hilaw na pagkain tulad ng gulay at prutas. At kung walang hilaw na pagkain, sana uminom tayo ng isang uh, papaya digestive enzymes na siyang makakatulong sa ating digestion. No, pero hindi siya gulay. Kung walang gulay sa buffet o sa fiesta o sa handaan, uh, there's no gulay. Absolutely no gulay. What you do? You're, you have a choice. Gutom ka. Anong kakainin mo? Yeah. Pag ganun, uh, kailangan talaga na... Siguro, in, you eat in moderation. Kasi mm -hmm. if you eat too much, then like... Uh, uh, dun sa tinatawag na blue zones, where people live up to a hundred years old, people eat only up to their up to eighty percent full. So uh, 80%, they don't try. Okay, so pag eighty percent, ah, tigil. Wag kayo maging empacho, tama? Mm -mm. Yeah, tama yun. Kasi yung mga ibang tao they don't feel satisfied until they have the feeling of fullness. Yeah. <laughs> so dapat sinasabi ni Dr. Joel, 80% para lalong humaba ang buhay natin. In short, no food uh, binging, binging, overeating. Yeah, tama. Yung sinasabi mo na medig high ka na, you already burped. And you know when you burp, the stomach is saying, puno na ako. Tama na. Di ba? Pero sinasabi mo, Pero sayang naman tong pizza, oh. Meron pang natirang pizza at pasta. Kasi ang sarap-sarap, kakainin ko na rin. So what happens to us at that point, Doc? When we decide, we know we're full, but we want to eat the last bite of pizza or pasta. Yeah, minsan it could lead to certain conditions like acute pancreatitis. Pag nasobrahan tayo ng pagkain. So... Ito na lang yung mga, well, it's not that common, pero for those people who have eaten a lot, sometimes it could it could lead to that. Uh, medyo na, nakakamatay din tong condition na to. There is a trick that was taught to me, I'll show you. Ito, oh, kapag may empacho, dapat nakatayo ka lang dito sa pader. So you will have a straight back. And you just stay there for mga five minutes now. Mm. Para bumaba lang ang pagkain. <laughs> Keeping still. Keeping still. <laughs> yeah. That's a tip I, I yeah. was taught. Yeah, but I think that should be helpful kasi a lot of people, they eat on the go. Kasi eh, madaming, ano, madaming ganap sa buhay. So, yun, it adds to the indigestion. If you're eating rapidly, yung masyadong mabilis kumain, that, that, that there's no time to digest your food. Sabi nga, you should chew your food like 30 times before ah, 30, swallowing. Ah, 30, akala ko 18 lang. Oh. 30 times there, pala? 30 times yung ano, Kasi, sabi naman ng iba. Mga katribo, digestion really starts 
from your mouth. The yeah. digestion. So don't gulp your food. May mga iba mm. nagmamadali, gutom sila, late na sila sa meeting, <clears throat> hindi pa dumaan sa, cha- sa, sa bibig natin. Halos hindi na digest natin. Kulang ang uh, chewing power natin. <laughs> we swallowed it already and then we get in digestion, right? So, right. Amen. So it's siguro our stomach is saying, slow down, slow down. That's why may tip tayo sa mga French people. French people, yeah. when they eat, it takes them uh, two hours minsan. Mm-hmm. Minsan nagtataka ako, why is it taking so long? Because they like to enjoy their food. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and actually, the friends that start yung slow food movement. Oh, ma. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, kasi um, madaming fast food eh. Uh, and with all this fast food, it's leading to a lot of health issues. So that's when the French realize, okay, bawasan natin ang mga fast food dito and start the slow food movement. Alam po ninyo, Doc, ang daming tao, mga kilala ko, mga businessmen and businesswomen, mga socialites, gusto nila, mm-hmm. meron na silang farm at maybe mm-hmm. weekends they're in the farm because they learn to appreciate nature more. Now they're growing their own vegetables and they're more relaxed and they realize the importance of relaxation. Yeah. yeah. So how do we go to your clinic to become younger? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, so um, my clinic would actually open uh, mid-October. Oh, so malapit it'll be uh, malapit na. So uh, it'll be at the uh, Green Hills Tower in San Juan. In the meantime, people could uh, reach me because I do online consultations at the moment. Uh-huh. Yeah, so um, they could check out our website at charmbyjlopezmd.com. That's charmbyjlopezmd.com. And for those who don't know what charm means, it actually means Center for Healthy Aging and Regenerative Medicine. Center for Healthy Aging and Regenerative Medicine. Charm. Ayan, pupuntahan natin si Dr. Joel Lopez dahil gusto natin humaba ang buhay natin pero hindi lamang yon. We still have our vitality and our beauty. <laughs> Thank you so much, Dr. Joel Lopez. Any other contact numbers to reach you? Uh, yeah, people could uh, actually call at 0917-1167. 422 or check out our Facebook or Instagram page at DRJ Lopez MD. That's DRJ Lopez MD. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dr. Joel Lopez, the the very respected anti-aging doctor, Joel Lopez. Marami pong salamat sa inyo, Dr. Joel. And uh, when you have more tips for us, more latest news on breakthroughs, please share the news with us. Will do. Salamat din po. <laughs> Thank you, Doc. Ayan po mga katribo ang ating episode ngayong hapon na ito. Look good, feel good. We have to start today, ngayon din. Para sa Be Well Now, ako po si Cory Killing. <music>